whenever we make a diagnosis of pseudophagia we always think we have done with it we don't think about whether the patient needs anything as a treatment at all welcome back to ophthalmology for undergraduates and postgraduate beginners having made a diagnosis of pseudophagia now it is our turn to decide whether the patient needs any treatment or not a patient who has been diagnosed as pseudophagia may have one or more of these presentations a patient may have a problem or symptoms in his eye the most common symptom is irritation or foreign body sensation many of the patients who undergo cataract surgery they are elderly they have an associated dry eyes in their eye so they need remedy for this dryness in the eye causing irritation or foreign body sensation patient may have some other problem inside the eye giving rise to symptoms if the patient is having some other symptoms like pain redness watering photophobia all those things then we have to evaluate for it and give the proper treatment for the patient so that the patient's vision is preserved a pseudophagic patient may have a normal visual acuity 6 by 6 you may think the patient is absolutely normal but it is not so now you have to find out whether the patient's near vision is normal or not you have to check the patient's near vision if the patient's near vision is normal then the patient might be having a multifocal iols implanted in his eyes if the patient's near vision is not normal it is very less then patient has had an implantation of unifocal iols only for the distant vision then we have to give a near vision spectacles for the patient if suppose our patient is having a visual acuity of less than 6 by 6 in the previous video we made a diagnosis where the patient had a visual acuity of only 6 by 60 we don't expect such a low vision for the patient to do the normal activities so we have to find out what is the reason for this reduced vision we should try to correct it for that we have to evaluate the patient thoroughly if a pseudophagic patient has a visual acuity of less than 6 by 6 it is the ophthalmologist's responsibility to correct it to the normal vision of 6 by 6 the first step we have to do in such a situation is we should do a pinhole test pinhole test is nothing but a small hole in the disc which is placed in front of the eye and that hole is about 1.2 mm through which the patient is asked to read the snellen chart if the patient is able to read up to the last line in the snellen chart then his vision becomes or improves to 66 what does it indicate the patient's visual acuity can be improved with spectacle corrections you give power glasses to the patient patient's vision will improve so that will be the first step next step what we should do is we should do a slit lamp examination of the patient slit lamp examination is done to find out any minor problems or any problems in the cornea or anterior chamber or in the iris or pupil which cannot be appreciated with your torchlight in the oblique examination can be found out with the slit lamp examination if you find any problems in any one of the structures that may be the reason for decreased vision following surgery in cataract 
Another important thing we have to observe in the slit lamp examination is you should notice whether the intraocular lens we have implanted inside the eye is properly positioned in the capsular bag and it is centered. If the intraocular lens is not properly positioned inside the capsular bag, it is having a small tilt or not centered, it has displaced towards one side, then that may cause astigmatism like refractory error in the patient. So that will lead to decreased vision. So that has to be corrected. Another important thing we can observe with the slit lamp in a post-operative patient is posterior capsular opacification that is otherwise called as after cataract. You have done a cataract surgery, removed all the cataractus, nucleus and cortex out. You have implanted the intraocular lens into the capsular bag. But you must remember that there is still capsular bag inside the eye. This capsular bag is having some amount of epithelium in the equatorial region. This epithelium tries to reform the lens by forming new fibers. So these fibers will grow within that bag but because the capsule is not intact, it is opened, these fibers they get drowned in the aqueous humor, they take up excess amount of water, they get opacified. So that is called as after cataract. It is defined as a failed attempt by the remaining capsule to reform the lens once again. So that is posterior capsular opacification. So that can also reduce the vision in the patient. The posterior capsular opacification or IOL displacement or any problems in any one of the structures may not improve the visual acuity with the pinhole test. So that way we have to correct the problems inside the anterior segment of the eye. Fundus examination is very very essential in any patient who is diagnosed as pseudophagia. Why it is very very important? The vision may not improve following cataract surgeries with IOL implantation due to many reasons that is affecting the posterior segment. The commonest thing you should expect is the age related macular degenerations. We are doing cataract surgery mostly for elderly patients. They have, may have an age related macular degeneration which is affecting the macula. In such case the vision will be very low. It may not get corrected with spectacles. Similar thing can happen with diabetic retinopathy, diabetic maculopathy, macular dystrophies, optic atrophies. Optic atrophy may be due to several reasons. It may be a primary optic atrophy. It may be a secondary optic atrophy. It may be a glaucomatous optic atrophy. So, if it is in the initial stage, we may be able to prevent further loss of vision. There may be a retinal detachment in the patient. A patient may have a vascular occlusions in the retina. It may be a central retinal artery occlusion or a central retinal vein occlusion of an ischemic type or a patient may have a branch retinal artery occlusion or a branch retinal vein occlusion. So, so many things can affect the improvement of vision following a cataract surgery with the IOL implantation. Other causes for decreased visual acuity following cataract surgery and IOL implantation in pseudophagia. Most often, our students say that it is a wrongly calculated IOL power. No surgeon wants to wrongly calculate the IOL power and implant a wrong powered IOL inside the eye. He takes utmost precaution in calculating the power of the IOL. But what happens is you are all manipulating with the human tissues. We are placing the IOL into the capsular bag. We are trying to center it in the capsular bag. But because we are all doing it in the human tissues, the tissues may react in 
different ways because of the different reactions of the tissues the iols may get slightly displaced in front or behind or to the sides because of the healing of these tissues that may lead to a residual refractory error this residual refractory error is out of the hands of the surgeon it can happen because of the tissue reaction of each patient so if such things happen we have to correct it with spectacle corrections it is easy to correct the next common causes i have already told that there are different types of cataract surgeries each surgery has a dip, different length of the incision made the bigger the incision made the bigger will be the wound the bigger will be the scar formation scars always going for contracture on a later stage as a modification the bigger scars will lead to bigger contractures that will alter the curvature of the cornea after some time the curvature of the cornea is altered by bigger scars the astigmatism will be very big that will reduce the vision very much so we have to correct this astigmatic error in spectacles the patient's vision will improve if you do the latest surgeries like phaco emulsification micro phaco or phaco net the incisions are very very small the scar is going to be very very small the contracture is also going to be very very small so the refractory error caused by this contracture of the small wounds may not be that significant the patient will definitely have good vision even without spectacle corrections following cataract surgeries to summarize this video i want to tell you one thing any patient who has undergone a cataract surgery and the patient is having a pseudophagia in his or her eyes then it is our duty to see whether the patient's visual acuity for distance is 66 or not if the visual acuity is 6 by 6 then we have to see whether we have to give correction for near vision or not if the patient is having a multifocal iols inside his eyes he may not need a near vision spectacle if the patient has only an unifocal iol the patient needs a reading spectacle or near vision spectacles if you have given this you cannot just leave the patient just like that you have to complete the examination by doing a slit lamp examination of the eye to rule out any other problems in the eye we should examine the fundus of the patient to rule out any other peripheral retinal pathologies the central macula may be normal it may give good vision with spectacle correction but the patient is having a peripheral retinal pathology as time goes on this peripheral retinal pathology can affect the macula and the patient may lose the vision so we want to rule out the peripheral retinal pathologies so that if the patient is having such a pathology it is our duty to prevent it from involving the macula so that the patient does not lose his vision if suppose the patient is having a visual acuity of less than 6 by 6 then we have to test the patient with the pinhole test if the patient improves to 6 by 6 then we have to give spectacle corrections and we have to complete the examination with slit lamp examination and fundus examination if the patient does not improve the pinhole test we should try to rule out all these problems inside the eye and we should do a good slit lamp examination if there is any disease process inside the eye we have to treat it with this i stop this video pseudophagia is not a simple case in the examination pseudophagia needs lot of thinking and it is our duty to give good vision to the patient finally thank you